Donc, oui, tu Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. En... The court is now back Reprise in session. Reprise de l'audience. And uh, we now hand the floor once again to the La prosecution. La parole est à l'accusation, je vous en prie. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, let me pick off, pick up um, uh, your last uh, with your last statement, Mr. Witness. Votre dernière I think déclaration. Everybody here is happy that you spared Sai Sen's life. Chacun Can you tell us se félicite how you had the authority to spare Sai Sen's life? En quoi aviez-vous compétence pour le faire? It is difficult to talk about the authority because he was a young boy and I pitied him. Garçon, that, je so en pitié. I asked the people to allow him to stay. Demandé aux gens de le laisser rester. And I'm going to take you back to the testimony that I read before the break about the interrogations conducted by P and on, uh, because I want to make sure you understand that that was not Sai Sen's testimony. That was your testimony. This is, this is the testimony you gave to OCIJ. And, and to help you, Mr. President, at this time, uh, I would like to present to the witness and his counsel uh, copies of the six interviews uh, he has given the co-investigating judges. Uh, with your Procès leave, uh, may those be submitted to the witness. De ce témoin. Je vous en demande l'autorisation, Monsieur le Président. President, can you please specify the document numbers? My apologies, Mr. President. Uh, yes, uh, they are documents E3-5522, E3-5524, E3-72, E319.1.20, E319.8.2, and E319.8.2.1. With your leave, may these be submitted to the witness. J'aimerais les remettre au témoin. Yes, you may do so. Allez-y. The interview I was reading uh, from was your OCIJ interview E3 55 24 and if you could take a look at answers 29 through 35. Is it correct, as you stated in this OCIJ interview, that you were present, you were present and watched when P and On conducted interrogations? Des interrogatoires et que vous observiez P et Anne qui les menaient. Yes, exact. But, um, Could you please uh, repeat your question? Pourriez-vous répéter la question? 
as you testified question. to the co-investigating judges, were you present when P and Anne vous étiez conducted interrogations? P et Anne ont procédé aux interrogatoires. Est-ce exact? Réponse. Yes, that was the information I provided to Ce the interrogator les on who conducted the interrogation. Aux enquêteurs concernant les and personnes qui procédaient aux interrogatoires. I received that information Ces informations, je les ai reçues de façon indirecte. As I was questioned by the investigator. Les enquêteurs m'ont interrogé là-dessus. Your interview, Question. and I would ask you to look at it again, Veuillez states, question, do you remember if you ever participated Question. in the interrogation of anyone? Answer, I did participate. Réponse, As for oui. my participation, that was only to listen. Ma Is this a correct écouter. statement? Were you there listening when on NP conducted an interrogation? Réponse. It was the, the time that I uh, came from afar and then I uh, was asked by them to visit them Ils demandé and I de leur rendre visite. saw uh, what happened briefly brièvement as I was passé. not there so I did not know the details of pas, their interrogation pas les des interrogatoires. and that was the response I provided to the OCIJ investigator. Du bureau des the person you identified Question. named P. Vous désignez what was his role P. at Krang Tachan? And is this someone who had a, did he have a position on the Tramcock District Committee? Siégeait au comité du district de Tramcock. Réponse. Yes, that is correct. C'est exact. Let me go back. It, it's correct that P was a member of the Tramcock District Committee. Siégé au comité du district de Tramcock. Yes, he was a oui. part of the Tramcock District Committee. Du comité du district de Tramcock. And was Question. he one of the cadres who conducted interrogations at Krang Tachan? Les interrogatoires à Krang Tachan? Yes, that is correct. C'est exact. Question. I'm going to come back later to ask you some more questions about interrogations in Krang Tachan. I want to turn back now um, to some more general questions about uh, the period that you were the chief of Kus Commune. In your answer number 45 of OCIJ statement E3-72, you described attending district meetings twice a month while you, were the, while you were the commune chief of Kus Commune. Can you tell us where were those meetings held and who attended those meetings? The meetings were held uh, twice a month. Il s'agissait de réunions qui avaient lieu deux fois par mois au bureau du district. Communes, representatives Tous les représentants des communes devaient y assister pour mettre en commun leur expérience. La réunion First, uh, avait lieu tous les mois. We, the, the content of the meetings was on the 
And where was the district office Question. located? Où se trouvait le bureau du district? At that time, réponse. it it was in a hideout in a village called Krabai Prey. Dans un endroit, dans un village appelé Krabai Prey. Village dans was in a Samraung commune. Ce village appartenait à la commune de Samraung. And did the location of the Question. district office change le later on? Le siège du bureau de district a-t-il changé par la suite? Réponse. The location remained there. However, it was not changé. really a major site. Mais ce n'était pas un site très important. You referred to Question. it as a hideout. Can vous you describe for us a little bit uh, what this location was like? À quoi ressemblait cet endroit? Question. For example, a house belongs to uh, villagers. Then si the district une would maison ask the permission from the owner le to uh, use the house for the uh, district uh, business. And then the, the owners would uh, leave the house and then we would uh, hold a meeting et there. Nous tenir dans cette and Question. in uh, that same interview, dans le même uh, E372, uh, at answers 17 through 19, Aux 17 à 19 uh, you described uh, hearing the names of Nunchea and Kusampan via cadres who conducted trainings in my area. Vous and you provided the following testimony, and I quote, Question, who were the cadres Question. who came to teach you? Answer, cadres from the district. The cadres who used to be trained from the upper echelon and then came to further teach people in the lower echelon. Question, what were the names of those cadre teachers? Answer, they were Nev and Kit. Can you uh, give us a description, please, of how uh, these leaders from Tramcock District provided training to you and the other commune chiefs. Vous ainsi que les autres chefs de commune. They Réponse. provided uh, training to us when they received Ils documents from the uh, upper echelon and they would use de those, those documents to disseminate information to us at the, the commune level and then we would further disseminate the such information. And what type of documents Question. are you referring to? À quel type de document faites-vous allusion? Uh, réponse. In between 1972 and 73, when there was heavy aerial bombardment, the, the content was for us to dig trenches le along des the, the roads or along the footpaths, and in case of uh, emergency, then we would uh, hide ourselves se in those trenches, dans in, those trenches in order to save our lives. Pour, uh, on the aspects of agriculture, they Concernant talked about using the, the corset for rice farming. And besides rice farming, there were also other main crops, including corn and beans. And we needed to plant those crops actively in order to sustain the living. 
semis pour pouvoir euh, en vivre. Uh, thank you. The, what I was interested in Question. is the uh, type of documents uh, that were received de documents and used for these, this training. Were these letters? Uh, des were they uh, telegrams? Des were they a uh, uh, publication, a magazine? Uh, were you aware of what type of documents were received by the district leaders that were used for this training? Quels documents les chefs de district recevait-il et utilisait-il pour assurer cette formation Réponse. In my uh, role of a uh, lower cadre, I did not know the details about the documents titre, that they obtained or about any uh, confidential documents. As for the uh, public or open documents, I already informed you uh, of those uh, documents. Do you remember a uh, party publication called Revolutionary Flag or Red Flag? And can you tell us whether that was one of the documents that was used? On the uh, issue of the uh, flag magazines, during a, a conference or mass meeting, uh, they will display those uh, magazines with the, the flags on the wall and on the establishment, for instance, of the uh, Communist Party and on the uh, social status of the uh, people. However, the meetings that uh, we uh, attended uh, was a, a kind of a smaller uh, meeting, so there was uh, no such display. I want to read to you um, a statement you made in interview E319.1. Point 20 at Un answers 19 through 20. 20. In that interview of yours, you gave the following entretien. testimony, quote, Vous dites, question, who was the enemy? Qui était Answer, la est, qui était the enemy réponse. referred to the CIA, la CIA, the Americans, les the white Khmer, les Khmer and Yun. Question, were there any other groups which were considered as enemies? Answer, according to their principles, there were many enemies, but they only designated two big enemies. Anyone who did not follow their line would be accused of being an enemy. End of quote. Um, my question to you uh, is, uh, how were you instructed by the party on these principles of who was considered an enemy? C'est-à-dire au sujet des principes pour déterminer qui était ou non un ennemi. That was the statement that I uh, said or that I made uh, previously. And my question is, do you remember uh, who gave uh, these uh, uh, principles to you? How were you told about who was considered an enemy? Who told you and when were you told this? Qui était un ennemi et quand? Within the, uh, the time that I've worked at a commune level, a little bit uh, more than one year, the meeting chaired by the district là, committee only focused on what I have uh, described earlier. 
and they spoke also about the, the, the flag magazines, about the enemy, etc., in order for Earth to be more vigilant. So that we would not be uh, interrupted by the enemy. And also, it's uh, to strengthen our stance and not to become an enemy. One of the um, groups that you referred to uh, indicated that they had described as an enemy uh, were the white Khmer, Khmer Sa. Can you explain to us what white Khmer, uh, who or what white Khmer were? Based on what I uh, studied, uh, Khmer Rus were themselves, as for the white Khmer, they referred to the Dune. Let me um, turn to another subject um, that I'd like, like to ask you a few questions on, and uh, uh, that is about uh, Tamok. I'm going to read uh, first uh, a statement you made in interview E3-5524. Que l'on trouve dans votre procès verbal de l'édition 41. You were describing here um, an incident in which Tamak had helped you and intervened uh, after you had um, uh, uh, been uh, reprimanded by someone. Your statement, quote, question, how could Tamak have intervened to release you when you had the problem because you had released 40 prisoners. Answer, after they scolded me, I was afraid and I reported directly to Tom Mock. Continuing below, question, how did you know Tom Mock so clearly and how were you able to personally meet with him? Answer, I had known him ever since he came in from the forest, end of quote. What did you mean when you said you had known Tamak since he came in from the forest? And when and where was it that you first met Tamak? I think it's a it's going to be a, a, a long response, and I apologize for that. Ma réponse sera peut-être longue. Je m'en excuse par avance. So it is clear for everyone. As the, on the issue of 40 prisoners, in fact, there were two occasions uh, involved, uh, 40 prisoners. And I also uh, clarified on my position at the time. When I was uh, organizing uh, the people who were being transferred from one district to Je another, I arranged the accommodation for those people and I worked together with the monks. And that was not at the Krantachan office or at the Kus commune. Those people were uh, from District 109, 108, 106, all within Kramkot itself. They were displaced due to the uh, fighting. Even the livestock also had to be relocated. And then I would uh, put those people in various uh, houses for them to stay in the uh, villages and uh, communes, and those people, some of them had been arrested by the district. And as myself had the role of organizing the accommodation for them, and I uh, questioned why uh, those people had been sent. 
uh, to be detained, and I was told that it's because of a minor conflict, that is conflicts over a coconut tree or two coconut trees. And then they were sent, they were accused of uh, disobeying uh, their instructions. And that was the time that I uh, released those 40 uh, people. And that's what I was accused of. And that one, uh, one event that I released uh, 40 prisoners. And another uh, event Ça, was when I was in uh, Kampong Spu in 1974. There was a new uh, village and there was no uh, proper uh, housings there. Then uh, we cleared the land de near de the uh, de west de of the Dambrai Romil mountain. And then de I allotted uh, those lands uh, to 40 uh, families. Those 40 families were actually released, or had actually been released uh, from a Kantachan prison. And I was uh, assigned to uh, find or to arrange the housing or accommodation for those uh, 40 uh, people. Then we asked, I asked them uh, to uh, clear the land, to build the houses for Je them, and uh, form a new village called Preik Duj Village. Et ainsi de un it village was in Bosai, the commune, no, Kampung Spu province. De Duc, dans la so province that was de the uh, second occasion uh, that Et I uh, released uh, 40 other prisoners. La deuxième occasion but uh, what you stated involved the, the first batch of the prisoners Mais that I uh, was uh, that I released, à la première, uh, and I was uh, reprimanded or scolded why I released them without asking for all their uh, permission or authorization. Because to me, they they were just uh, displaced people yeux, and they had no food to eat, so I fed them and I considered them as Donc, evacuees. And because I had a role in coordinating the housing for the evacuees uh, together with the monk, and that's what I did. Moines, eh bien, and uh, Tamok helped me. Tamok because I made a direct contact with him Parce since, uh, contact since I knew him. Lui, je le I told him that I, I, I was victimized and that I was about to be killed. Je lui ai dit que and I thought he was a help. And the the person who was aide. about to, to kill me was La Sao, but with the Tamok intervention, then uh, my life was spared. De Tamok, ma vie a été and I'd like to talk a little bit uh, more on Soi Sain. Soi Sain was a boy within uh, the, the, the army. Au sein de and by that time, I was no longer in, in Kuh uh, commune, but Cette when I returned, I saw him, I pitied him. So I, revenu, uh, vu, I asked uh, them to, to let him stay and live. À ce and because they, they knew vivre. me, they, so they, they uh, gave him, or they allowed him uh, to, to live. And that's uh, what happened. Voilà ce qui passé. Let me go back um, to the uh, prisoners um, who you released, uh, who you were reprimanded for. Que vous avez um, libéré, was the person, who, who was it that scolded you qui for releasing those prisoners without his approval? It was the Sector 13 Committee or Secretary. Le secrétaire du comité. And is that the person you mentioned a few minutes ago named Som? Is uh, Som la person que vous venez de mentionner? Yes, that's his name, Som. Réponse, oui, c'est son nom, Som. And can you explain to us how it was that you were in position to be able to release these prisoners without Psalms 
permission. How are you able to release these prisoners? Autoriser à libérer ces prisonniers sans l'autorisation de Sam. Comment se fait-il que vous y étiez habilité? I have just uh, stated I was part of the committee for the uh, organizing the accommodation for the uh, war displaced uh, people. Des personnes déplacées par la guerre. And because I had a pity on them. And that's what I did. Your testimony is that as a member of this committee for the displacement of people, you have the authority to release prisoners? The prisoners were were transferred uh, through uh, under our management and I in fact was not Nous aware of their presence but after fait, I uh, organized the accommodations for them then I Mais knew uh, what happened personnes, so I allowed them to stay it, I know rester. it could be a, a mistake uh, on my part but I, I did what I thought was right in fact I did faire. not have any real authority to en release fait, the prisoners I was uh, just a member of of the uh, committee. L'autorité suffisante pour le faire, j'étais simplement membre du comité. Um, Question. Did Sam threaten you? You told Sam us that you went menacé? to Tamak because Sam was going to kill you. Why did you believe que that Sam was going to kill you? Que Sam allait vous tuer? He threatened me, and that's why I was fearful. Everybody was fearful of his or her own death, Tout le monde a peur de with mourir. no exception. And for Personne that reason, I went to find help from the senior person. Je me suis à un so let's go back for a moment to just talk about Tamak um, putting aside this incident about the release of prisoners, uh, what I'd like to know is when was it that you first met Tamak? I uh, met him for the first time in Je late 1971. And in the uh, statement that I read to you a few minutes ago, uh, you said that you have known him ever since he came in from the forest. What did you mean when you said that Tamak came in from the forest. That was uh, correct. Réponse. Although he uh, joins the Resistance long time ago, Il he did not uh, emerge from the forest, and I met him when he emerged from the forest the near forêt. the base of the Mbrairumil mountain. C'est lorsqu'il est sorti de la forêt près de la montagne de Mbrairumil. And can you tell us a little bit what was the occasion on which you met Tamak at the base of this mountain? Quelles étaient les circonstances autour de votre rencontre près de cette montagne At that time, uh, villagers and uh, those Réponse, who were responsible époque, for the villages and the communes were called commune to attend a big meeting, which was held at night. Réunion qui se tenait la nuit. 
And what happened at meeting at this meeting? Okay, what was the purpose of this meeting? They spoke about the uh, revolutionary movement On y against du mouvement uh, the enemy. That's what uh, they announced at the time. And they stir the spirit of the people to rise Et on up. Les gens à se in all fronts and engage in whatever they could do to uh, join that uh, movement. movement sur tous les you stated this was late 1971 uh, when you met Tamak. Uh, can, can you tell us how often did you see Tamak between uh, that time in late 1971 uh, between 1971 and 1973, uh, how often did you see Tamok? From the distance from my house to Tamok's house was uh, about 15 kilometers. Réponse. Ma maison était à peu près 15 kilomètres de and celle de Tamok. His location was also at the, the district office. Et il était également For that reason, au bureau du district. For that reason, when uh, meetings were held, it was uh, the meetings organized by either the district or the sector. They were held at the same location, and that's how I met him. So I usually met him during uh, those uh, major uh, meetings, and I never met him on any other occasions. And the meetings uh, were usually at that time held at night uh, because of the fear of the uh, aerial bombardment. In um, interview E372, answer 77, uh, you testified that Tamak was also known as Ta-15, and you stated, and I quote, when he signed, he wrote his name as Ta-15, end of quote. Uh, how did you know that Tamak signed documents as Ta-15? I knew it because of his, uh, his uh, letters, for example, his letters uh, asking for people or Grâce assigning people lettres, to perform specific uh, tasks. In those letters, he would assign it with uh, the word uh, TA-15, and for that reason, he was known as TA-15. And I did not dare ask why he was known as TA-15. Did you receive these letters uh, directly from Tamok, or did they come to you through the district office? De Tamok, ou les avez-vous reçus par le biais du bureau de district? I received uh, those letters through the district office. I did not receive them directly. Je ne les ai pas reçus directement. Question. Now we've you've talked about already in detail um, how Tamak was able to protect you de la façon dont um, after the release of the first group of prisoners. De... And uh, taking you to E319 slash 8.2.2 answer 118, you gave the following uh, testimony. 
Réponse Question. 18. Did Tamak protect you? Question. Yes, he did protect me. Once I was réponse. about to be oui. taken away and killed, but Tamak helped. Mais Tamak aidé. And then continuing at answer Ensuite, 122. Réponse 122. Question. Whom did Tamak talk to Question. in order to help you? Answer. He aider. talked with the réponse. sector, meaning some and ten. My question to you is, uh, did Tamak, uh, as suivante. the head of the Southwest Zone, Tamak, uh, have authority to prevent people from being arrested and killed uh, as he did with you? Tamok did help me, and he, in fact, uh, told the, the two men at the sector about that. At that time, his child, Kom, did not yet uh, die. So, so the district uh, blamed me for what I did, and then the sector the also blamed me for what I did. And then I went to Tamok for help, and my life was spared. And in interview E319.1.20, at answers 3 through answer 4, you made you gave the following testimony, quote, Tamak was the chairman of the zone. He was also a party center member. Continuing later, quote, because he was party center member, he could also govern other zones, end of quote. Can you explain what you meant when you said that Tamak could govern other zones because he was a party center member. Disseminated by the district and the sector, that he was in charge of the southwest zone comprising of uh, three provinces, namely Takao, Kampot, and Kampung Spu. He was also a member of the party's center. Du centre du parti. For example, when he went to work at a, a different zone. For example, in the East Zone, Et allait travailler, par exemple, in dans his la letter zone est, uh, of instruction to the East Zone, à la zone est, he uh, used his uh, code name uh, 15, son nom, son nom and then people there did not recognize his authority ah, si. and did, they did not carry ne out his instruction. Pas That's son this kind of information I learned through voilà the uh, district and the sector. You said that because he was party center member, he could also govern other zones. Um, were you aware of other zones that Tomok de uh, governed ce outside the southwest zone? Y avait-il d'autres zones dont il était responsable? Yes, uh, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Can you tell us what Question. other zones Tamak was able to govern because he was a party center member. He also governs the north zone 
and I knew that because uh, later when I was transferred to a rubber plantation, uh, whatever they did over there was uh, to follow the instructions uh, from Tamok. Ce sont les instructions de Tamok que l'on y suivait. And you used the words party center member. What did you understand it to mean to be a party center member? Party center member, as uh, we all know it, the center was the core Le centre, All information gathered from districts or provinces would be collected for the center. That's how I understand it. À l'intention du centre, c'est ce que j'avais compris. And one more um, a piece of information you provided related to Tamak. Uh, this is an interview E319 slash 8. Point two, point two, point two, point at two, answers 129, I'm sorry, answers 129 through 131. Uh, you provided the following testimony, quote, question, during the Khmer Rouge regime, did you ever hear or know of sexual violence committed by Khmer Rouge cadres? Answer, yes, I heard of that. Sometimes the mil military leaders had affairs with women within the military ranks. Question, when such a case occurred, what would happen to the offender? Answer, Tamak killed his son-in-law because of doing just that many times. Question, what was his name? Answer, Rin. Now, first, in regards to the son-in-law of Tamak, who you identified in this testimony, can you tell us um, which daughter of Tamak he was married to, and what his position was during the Democratic Kampuchea regime. The statement that I provided as an information that uh, Mo killed his son-in-law, Ren, uh, was uh, correct. Ren was a former division Ren commander, chef de division. and in fact, uh, he uh, stationed in Phnom Penh, and stationné later on after Phnom Penh failed, he was here engaged in this uh, Moral Il a misconduct. À se livrer à ce genre Although he had uh, married uh, to Alors the daughter of Tamok. À la fille de Tamok. Did you know which Question. daughter of Tamok he was married to? À quelle fille de Tamok il était marié? The, the daughter is still living today, and she, she remarried. Tamok only had her daughters, not son, no son. Il aucun fils. And Question. can you tell us uh, how did you know that Tamok Comment had killed his son-in-law for having affairs with other women? Son beau-fils pour avoir eu des liaisons avec d'autres femmes. I knew it because later on when we fled up to the Dombre Mountain, we were living in a crowded area 
Nous avons vécu dans so une zone we, we bondée et donc nous apprenions des informations personnelles sur autrui. And of course, it's just a, a word by mouth from one Bien person sûr, to another. Cette information a circulé par le bouche à oreille. Right. Uh, Mr. President, I'm about to change to a different subject. Monsieur yeah. le Président, je vais bientôt passer à un autre thème. Do you want me to continue, or is que je a, a, should we break at this point? Ou bien le moment est-il opportun pour lever la séance? Thank you, the Deputy International Court Prosecutor. Le Président, merci. The proceedings today come to an adjournment. We will adjourn now and resume tomorrow. That is the Wednesday, 25th of February 2015, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow, we will continue to hear Demain, the testimony of this witness, de de Pan Chen. Pan Chen. And Mr. Pan Chen, Pan Chen, we thank you for your time. However, the hearing of your testimony is not yet concluded, and you are invited to return again tomorrow. And now you may return to your place of residence. Call officer, in collaboration with Visu, please make a, a necessary arrangement for him to return to his residence and bring him back into the courtroom tomorrow morning before 9 o'clock. And security personnel, you are instructed to take the two recused, the Nunji and Q, some porn back to the detention center of the ECCCC and have them returned tomorrow morning to attend the proceedings before 9 o'clock in the morning. The court is now adjourned.